Well, this weekend, you'll be able to witness some true skill. The 2022 Hodak Challenge Cross Country Ski Races will be taking place. And joining us this morning is the race director, Brian Hackey. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And, you know, for some people who may not know, just tell us what exactly the Hodak Challenge Cross Country Ski Races are. Sure. Uh, the Hodak uh, Challenge Cross Country Ski Race is a high school and middle school race that uh, Northwoods Nordic Ski Club has been putting on for several years. Um, it's held out at the Cedric A. Vig Outdoor Classroom, which is out on the east side of town, um, on our uh, ski trails. Oh, wow. um, the ski trails were um, really changed a lot several years ago to uh, host races just like this. Mm -hmm. um, we bring in uh, college races, we bring in this race, um, and we're also looking for even higher level races. So. Um, the race itself is a two-day event, mm -hmm. which is really exciting for Rhinelander when you think about it. Yeah, that sounds like a, an amazing time. Mm -hmm. And so do you think it's important for, you know, high schoolers and middle schoolers to come together? It's a friendly competition, but to share their skills together. Well, yeah, even stepping back from that, um, cross-country skiing is what we like to call a lifetime sport. Mm -hmm. uh, lifetime sport meaning that you teach it to people and then they hopefully they keep it through their life and, and become physically active, stay healthy, and become engaged. So it starts even a little bit uh, younger than the high school, middle school. Uh, Northwoods Norick has a program called Snow Dags that just started yesterday that actually teaches first graders through fourth graders to wow. ski. And um, it's been a very successful program, so much so that it's become um, uh, uh, the, the, the starting point for all of our middle school and high school skiers. So we promote uh, teamwork, even though um, cross-country skiing is very much an individual sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very, it's very cardio-orientated and the like, but we promote it as a team because team is all about supporting the individuals. And if you've ever listened to Jessie Diggins, the former world champion for the United States, she does the same thing. Um, it is the second largest cross-country ski event in Wisconsin for high school and middle school skiers. Wow. Which is very uh, unique, and um, Northwoods Nordic feels really good about being able to hold this race for the, for the ski league. Um, we're getting skiers from Michigan. We've got them from Minnesota and we get them from all over Wisconsin coming here. So um, if anybody wants to come out, um, we would hope that you would carpool because parking is at a premium, mm -hmm. but there is a parking lot. Uh, there are some pretty good viewing areas on the course. Okay. And um, yeah, it, it's just a really nice thing to see, especially if you're supporting youth sports. We have a website, uh, it's at northwoodsnordic.com. Uh, it has information on the race and tells all about it tells about how you start, the starting times for the races. Um, and on Saturday, they start at 10 a.m. And at Sunday, they start at 9 a.m. Uh, but there's a link on that page to actually sign up. Okay. And um, on the link, all the locations that we need help all have descriptions of what is the expectation and the timing and everything. So it's pretty informative. It's pretty straightforward, yeah. All right, awesome. I was just going to ask you that for more information. Where can people go? So it's northwoodsnordic.com. It's, it's northwoodsnordic.com. Okay. Uh, that's our website. And then we're also on face like, Facebook like everybody else. All yes. right. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Brian, for joining Thank me and, you. and talking about this. We're looking yep. forward to the youth competition, yep. and I'm sure that it will be a great turnout. Yeah. It, I, we are looking forward to it, too. With the COVID situation, what it is, we're still moving forward. Okay. We do have um, we do have protocols in place. Mm -hmm. So um, if anybody wants to see those, they can go to the website, too. Yeah. All right. Well, perfect. Thanks. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.